right. It is, on the one hand, it has the power of a knight. On the other hand, it has this elegancy of a rider. The personality of the DF50, I would say, is aggressive. You can see from the front, we have those two big air scoops, black nose, large propeller, very beautiful tail. The elegancy of the lines poses them all into a combination of style and aggressiveness. There is an old saying that an airplane flies like it looks. And I think that's especially true for the DA-50. Fast. It really looks fast. It really just makes you think of Top Gun or James Bond movies. Consider the elegance of a sports car combined with the versatility of an SUV. It really channels all of your attention. You cannot reach the elevator because the, the tail is just huge. You see this cabin when you open these gullwing doors. It's just like a little magic moment, like, oh, come enter the diamond world. These Swinging doors that to be a supercar of the skies. As soon as you switch on the master and you feel the roar of the engine, you can feel the 300 horsepower in front of you. It gives you this kind of feeling of speed. You just feel, man, I'm fast. All the conventional engines, they look straight out of the 50s. With the CD300, Continental had come out and designed something in kind of revolutionary. The CD300 Continental a diesel engine running on jet fuel, which gives us the big advantage that you can fly virtually anywhere in the world. Just the richness of V6. It's a twin turbo, very powerful engine on takeoff. On the other hand, as soon as you get up in cruise and the engine becomes very, very silent, it becomes a very pleasant airplane to fly. You don't feel a lot of vibrations in the cabin at all. Start the engine basically by just press the button and the FADEC will make the engine come alive. I think as Diamond Pilots, we're completely spoiled or you flew jets before having FADEC system, you know you set what you want with one lever. Massive advantage. I think this is the most spacious single engine aircraft I've ever flown. DA62 and DA50 has the same body, the same cabin size. It feels like a twin. If you have a family, if you want to go for a weekend trip, you don't have to worry about weight and balance. You just sit in, put your luggage in the back and off you go. Not only that you fit five people, but behind the five people you still have plenty of space to put in luggage. So going skiing, golfing or anywhere with the family. Inside the interior is really sporty, but still being super elegant with the high quality of stitching. Just look at the features it gives you as a private pilot. You can control the aircraft in so many manners, which aren't even available on an Airbus. The keypad, which you have in the center, which just makes it so much faster. If you use it, I would assume you would never go back to using the knobs. You have the de-icing system, makes the prop also as electrical de-icing, makes the prop safer to operate. You have the oxygen system, you have the air conditioning system on a separate alternator. You can switch on the air conditioning anytime at any point in flight. Me as a production test pilot, I take the aircraft to all sides of the performance envelope. Even if you get into a store with a DA50 power on in a turn, the aircraft will be controllable all around its lateral axis. Like literally you could put her in a stall and almost hover on a spot, just have like a very low airspeed and gently, without any violent movement around the, any axis of the aircraft, come down in the stalling attitude all the way to the ground and that just shows brilliant stability. The DA50 is definitely more professional. You can deploy the landing gear up to 162 knots. You can use that as an air brake. So when you see that you're coming in hot and high, you can just keep your speed, deploy the landing gear, use it as an effective air brake very efficiently with this propeller and landing gear combination. So you will be immediately in the speed range to actually deploy your double slotted flaps. Best moment, I would say, in the aircraft is just the landing. It's always smooth. It's actually even pleasant to land in crosswind conditions. Doing a bad landing in a DA-50 is close to impossible. The DA-50, the, the first landing, basically all of us nailed it, which is not that common for the first landing in a new airplane. Just being seated in it, throwing power forward, you got that powerful engine. The way it accelerates, but then when you come at that, point of rotation, 
I'm just, you begin to realize it just there when you pull back that really stable platform, which is so intuitive to fly. It just feels that you know what the plane wants to do. You feel like one with the aircraft, and that's from the beginning on. With the first flight, you feel as one with the aircraft. It's not like the aircraft does something and you battle against it. It's you can tell the aircraft where to go and it will do exactly as you want to. I would say it's just a thrilling aircraft to fly. The moment you step in and you feel this kind of elegant touch on the inside, but this brutal power in front of the aircraft, that just gives you big excitement. We have brought so many innovations and so many passion into the aircraft. It's really a big aircraft and it's so stable and so smooth in the air. It gives you everything what a pilot wants. In the process of purchasing your aircraft, you realize with a new model, you don't have the compromises anymore. With the Diamond, you, you have a design which incorporates all of these struggles which pilots have over these last years into just a brand new clean sheet design. 